Are you interested in expanding your beef operation? Or are you challenged by the lay of the land your current beef operation is located on? If so, you're not alone. Iowa's cattle feeding industry is important to Iowa's state and local economy. Cattle feeding adds value to corn and forages, more fully utilizes our farm resources such as labor, facilities, and machinery, and provides profit opportunities for skilled managers. Many Iowa producers are reinvesting in feedlots to modernize, improve environmental performance, and capture emerging opportunities. Hello, I'm Denise Schwab, Extension Beef Specialist for Northeast Iowa, and I want to share with you a brief overview of our newly released feedlot facilities manual. We did a brief survey of Iowa beef producers in 2014, and one of the things we found there is that about half of our beef producers are currently finishing cattle in open lots with shelter. About a quarter are finishing cattle in open lots without shelter, and about 25% are using some type of a confinement facility for finishing their cattle. But of those operations who've expanded in the last five years, about half of them have built some type of a confinement system. So our facilities manual is looking at four different types of feedlot systems. An open earthen lot with a windbreak, which becomes our base to compare to. An open lot with shelter, and within that shelter our bunks are all under roof a confinement solid floor bedded type of a system, and a confinement slatted floor system with rubber mats. Both of our confinement systems are regardless of rooftop, so some will include both monoslopes, gable roofed, as well as hoop type finishers. To put this material together, we surveyed builders across Iowa for their cost of production for a 500 head confinement facility. We had 17 responses that we used to look at both the range and the average for comparison purposes, and within the manual we've shown both the ranges and the averages. We've updated our previous manual costs on open feedlots along with building costs from builders on shelters. Site preparation, cattle working area, and any separate manure storage is not included in these costs, assuming that most producers would have those resources available or would need to add those in addition. The land required for this facility is assumed to be owned already, but we did include a rental charge so that we do show some costs for the land within these facilities. Our first base is in our open lot with a windbreak. In this case, we included a cost of 22 square feet of concrete per head, most of which is the apron off the feed bunk. We included 132 square foot of earthen lot space as well as 40 square foot of mound space per head. In the case of a concrete lot, we used a figure of 60 square foot per head of concrete. In our open lot with shelter, if it's an earthen lot, we included 25 square foot of shelter per head, as well as 125 square foot of earthen space and 40 square foot of mound space. In a concrete lot, we allocated 20 square foot inside and 50 square foot outside. In summary, our open lots tend to be lower investment have a little more flexibility in terms of construction and design, but we also want to note that the addition of the shelter does add some cost to that facility. Without the shelter, we tend to see a, a lower performance and a less predictable performance because of the impact of the environment. Uh, also because of the outside nature of it, we tend to see a lower value on the manure because of the impact of rainfall as well as bedding and how it's stored. They tend to be about mid-range in terms of labor requirements, but we do want to note that the labor is less scheduled, and so it's more seasonal with peaks in terms of weather impact. And because of the weather and the outside nature, it does tend to have a little higher environmental risk. Our third type of system then is our deep bedded confinement, and actually we're looking at deep or shallow bedded pack. So basically it's a confinement with bedding. We've allocated 40 square foot per head to these facilities and we realize that producers are maybe using a little less than that, but this was our baseline. And again, we lumped all of our multiple roof styles together. So monoslopes, gable roofs, and hoops are all included in the confinement system. Basically what we see is a little higher investment costs on average to these facilities, but again we want to note that we had a very large range in facility cost as we looked at the, the bedded confinement systems. We also note that we see a little higher operation cost in terms of the bedded systems and a little higher labor, but the labor is more scheduled, so it's on a regular basis rather than the seasonality that we saw in the open lots. 
we can't say that we always have better environment on the confinement facilities, but we do know that there are less extremes. So our heat and, and cold stresses are less extreme in these facilities. We've seen a higher performance in terms of these facilities. In terms of manure, we tend to be kind of mid-range between the deep bedded and the open lot, but we do see more volume of manure out of the bedded system because of the addition of bedding. But because everything is under roof, we also see less environmental risk. In terms of our slatted floor confinement, we're looking at facilities that are an 8 to 12 foot deep concrete pit. We've assumed rubber mats on top of all of the concrete slats on all of our estimates. We're using a value of about 22 to 25 square foot per head within these facilities and assuming that we have a drive through feed alley on the north with the bunks on that side so the bunks fully under roof. Just a few summary points on our slatted floors. They tend to be our highest investment and, and of course we are including the mats in that cost. But again, we see these are, tend to be our lower labor. And with that assumption is that we have the ability or the option at least for custom manure application. We can again always say that the environment is better, but we've taken out the extremes of heat and cold. We do see higher performance from these confinement facilities and we see the highest manure value from these deep pit facilities because we're capturing all of those nutrients. Also because the manure is always contained, we see less environmental risk. Just to give some ballpark figures, investment per thousand head unit of our facilities, you can see that our confinement slatted floors tend to be the highest, followed by our concrete lots and confinement solid floors and earthen lots with sheds, and our earthen lot with windbreak being the least. But again, this is the average, and we, we want to also encourage you to look at that spread. To assist producers in that, we have created a decision-making tool that's found on our Beef Center website or on the Ag Decision Maker, where you have the option to look at three different types of facility designs and your best estimates in terms of costs and savings related to those, as well as performance, and it will help then break out and look at what is the cost of production in each of those three units compared. In summary, we see a higher manure value and slightly better performance offset most of the higher investment in the confinement facilities. Both confinement and open lot with shelter have similar performance from the cattle. Depending on your current financial situation, return on investment and asset turnover will affect decisions on higher cost facilities. The time frame for operation, flexibility, and labor are all considerations that you need to put into your decisions. And there are many other factors involved in the decision-making process, including facility utilization, feed costs, manure use, and nutrient requirements from a cropping program can all have an impact. We do want to point out that production may be more variable in open lots with shelters, and with well-designed open lots, environmental risk can be minimized. We'll have more videos related to the use of the manual on our Biowa Beef Center webpage. We would encourage you to check out that Beef Center webpage as well as our manual. Thank you for your time.